I'm falling over. Oh, Welcome to the oven build project here. We are um, now in the exciting phase of starting to build the actual dome of the oven, right? And so you third, fourth graders are gonna be the ones who actually build the dome, right? So what we have so far, just so you kind of understand the process, is we had the base done. So the base again is built out of the pallets, right? Pallets put upright, then we put some straw inside and covered it in the, the cob mix. The, and the cob is just sand, clay, and straw, right? So then we did the floor. The floor, we insulated the floor, about eight inches of insulation using glass bottles and um, something called perlite, which is like a fluffy, very lightweight, airy material. And that's to retain the heat in the bricks, in the floor of the oven. Right? And, uh, and so then, so yesterday, uh, with a couple of different classes, we worked on building this arch. You know, so I built this, this wooden form, and this is going to come out. And uh, we, we, made, we made these adobe bricks, right? So using the, uh, we made some adobe bricks using this earth and sand, and put those adobe bricks over the mold form and I uh, put this little temporary chimney uh, mold uh, form in there also. This is going to be coming out. And, uh, and so then yesterday also with the, the steam class, we worked on uh, putting the sand mold. This is just a, a temporary uh, sand mold, right? So it's about 16 inches high by about 32 inches wide. And, uh, and so we're going to be putting this cob mix um, over uh, the sand mold. And um, we'll be putting it on about four inches thick, right? So what I'm going to be having you all do is help do this, is forming it into balls, you know, these little cob balls, and then we'll be putting it like this, about the width of uh, four adult four fingers. So it's, it's about four inches thick, right? This is standby. This is what I'm using. So you guys all know what this is. This is the plaster, right? So we're going to be plastering the base of the oven today, right? That's a plaster. So this is the... Uh, Whoa, we made a really door. Cool. Right. You're an yeah, no. This door. is the plaster that we're using. It's the uh, hydraulic lime, pure natural hydraulic lime. On the back here, you can see it says, used since 30 BC. You just right? said that. So this is what the ancient Romans were using. So it does... Very strong stuff. It's hydraulic, meaning that actually water strengthens it, right? So water actually makes it stronger, right? And um, so this is, and the color all comes from iron oxide pigments, right? Two Mickey Mouse ears. There's a doll who's teaching a sixth grade lesson. Yeah, what is he in the teaching? Because I was telling him. There's lots of people waiting. Okay. Watch Taya. Please stand all the way off. Get away from the vehicle. Taya, Natasha, and Xanthi next. Logan, Logan. So we are back at our oven project. So we've been letting this uh, dry out for, you know, almost a week now. This is called a thermal mass layer, right? So this is nice and hard. So we can 
take out the sand mold. So we might have, you know, some uh, one person kind of working on doing this, maybe using like a little shovel, you know, to kind of take out the sand. Okay, well, we can take turns. And then in the meantime, I want to put a burlap, get some burlap and dip that in a wet clay slip and put that over this. Now what that does is, you know, we're going to have a really hot fire in here for cooking the pizzas. And so to keep the outside from cracking, I put burlap in to help to stop the cracking, right? Taking this insulation mix and putting this over the oven. We'll be putting it on about three inches thick or so. So it kind of makes it easier if you first form it together into a ball. You're paying attention, people. Right, and then, and then put it on. Right, and so we'll be putting this over the whole oven. The decomposed granite and then put newspaper over it and then put this mud on top of it then we put a sheet of burlap on it then we may put mud with perlite perlite in it which is um like volcanic rock that's like heated and it's like looks like popcorn and then we put it on that, mix with mud, and then we put it on the burlap, we put another layer of burlap, then we put cob, and then we took out the mold, and put fire bricks here, and took out the plastic. And then I didn't make, we, our class wasn't part of the bottom, so I don't know. Exactly. Tell us what those protrusions are. Exactly. Oh, and so this pipe, What's this it? copper pipe, circles around the um, dome of the oven, and once it's hot enough to make pizza, you can put cold water in here and it'll come out here boiling. So you can make the tea. Yeah. Oh, that heart flower looks so beautiful. Thank you. Okay, I think it's extra cold. Okay. No, hey, hey, thank you for uh, helping to decorate the oven. Thanks for doing these little sculpture of the flowers and the butterflies and the bees. This is going to make it really pretty. And lightning yeah. bolts. And lightning bolts, yes. <laughs> Bellina School, and we are doing the first firing of the Adobe Cobb oven we just built. And uh, so we've got pizzas going in here. We have uh, a whole pizza making operation going on, and the community has gathered. And so this is a this is the beginning of something very special. Exactly. Kind of a beginning, beginning of a whole new era here in Bellinas. And, uh, you know, community always gathers around the oven. So it's very appropriate to have you know, an oven here to celebrate that. So we can... Okay, let me take this, flip it around, put it in. Hey, come check this out. Hey, how are you? Yeah. 
So, John made the dough here. Hello. Yeah. It's working out really well. And, uh, so, we got people just making their own pizzas. We got a whole bunch right here. Buen provecho. Yeah.